Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be moving on to the next object of the shamatha practice, that is the uh, observing our own mind. And one thing I'd like to emphasize now for this meditation and in general for shamatha is that we are using what's called bare attention. So whatever object we're using in shamatha practice, bare attention means to observe that object directly and not to uh, project or conceptually superimpose anything onto it. So, so far we've been using the breath as the object. So bare attention there means, of course, to observe the sensations of the breath directly and not to imagine them or project or label them or something on top of them. So what we're going to do in this meditation now is we're going to go through a few sense objects <coughs> practicing this bare attention. So we're going to first start by opening our eyes and observing the visual field in front of us and with bare attention just observing the colors and shapes in front of us without projecting, without superimposing, labeling. Then we're going to move to listening to sounds and again observe sounds directly without projecting, labeling. Then we're going to move into the body and observe the physical sensations in the body again with bare attention without visualizing, imagining and so forth. And then we're going to move to observing the mind. And then, of course, all the things that are, got, are coming up in the mind and observing our thoughts and emotions and so forth directly without projecting, commenting or labelling. Okay? So let's do that practice as an introduction. And then I'd like to start again with a bit of a review of some of the things we've covered. And then we'll explain the practice for today in more detail. First, meditation. Let's do this meditation. We begin by preparing the body, setting the body into a state of relaxation, stillness and vigilance. Using the out breath to relax and release any tightness or tension in any part of the body. softening and relaxing all the muscles in the face. And if you find it helpful, you can take three slow deep breaths 
maintaining awareness of sensations throughout the body as you breathe. the breathing to settle into its natural rhythm. Not trying to control or regulate the breath in any way. And again, give yourself permission to let go of any hopes or fears, worries or concerns about the past or the future. To let go of all of these things for the duration of this short meditation. Simply allow the mind to come to rest in the present moment. Focusing on the sensations of the breath throughout the body. Now while remaining in that quiet meditative state, open your eyes and bring your attention to the visual field in front of you, the field in which shapes and colors are appearing. And with bare attention, which means without projecting superimposing or labeling, 
Simply observe the visual field in front of you. And in the scene, let there be just the scene. Now close your eyes and bring your attention to the auditory field, the field within which sounds are appearing. And again with bare attention, without projecting or labeling, simply observe the sounds appearing in that field. And in the herd, let there be just the herd. Now shift your attention to the field of the body, the field within which tactile sensations are appearing. And again, without visualizing or projecting, simply with bare attention, observe the tactile sensations within the body. And in the sensed, let there be just the sensed.
allow your eyes to be at least partially open, resting your gaze in the space in front of you, keeping the eyes soft and relaxed, blink as often as you need, and now bring your attention to the field of the mind and observe your own mind and whatever is arising in your mind. Thoughts, emotions, memories, mental images. Simply be like an impartial observer or witness, observing these mental events as they arise and pass, without following them, without trying to get rid of them. If you're new to this practice and you're not sure where to focus, then every now and again deliberately generate a thought. Any thought will do. And watch that thought as it appears in your mind. And then watch it as it disappears back into your mind. And then keep your attention right where it was and see what comes up next in that space. And if you get caught up in a thought and got, get carried away, remember the first thing to do is simply relax. Then release grasping onto that thought and very gently return to observing the mind. So relax, release and return. Each time you get distracted, get swept away.
So that was a little taste of the practice that we'll be doing today and shortly I'll describe that practice in more detail. But before we do that, let's again start with a little bit of a review. So of course here the main uh, practice in this retreat is the shamatha practice, the practice of developing a calm, clear, focused mind. And remember, shamatha is a particular level of concentration we are cultivating in the spiritual path, the one that we would like to have as a basis for the Vipassana practice. And we have those three qualities we're cultivating in this practice. First, the basis of relaxation. On that basis, developing stability, overcoming distraction, and then on that basis, improving the clarity of our attention. And we can use any one of many different objects for this practice. And the recommendation, of course, is use the object that works best for you. And so we've started in this retreat by focusing on the breath. And that's probably going to be the best object for many of us to focus on the breath. And within the breath practice, we looked at a couple of variations of the breath practice. Of course, the full body breath practice, very good for relaxation. The abdomen, uh, very good for improving stability of attention. And then yesterday, we were focusing at the entrance of the nostrils. This is particularly good for improving clarity of attention. And then also yesterday, we briefly introduced another variation of the breath practice, and that is to simply notice the rhythm of our breath. And that's going to be a particularly useful practice for not only cultivating also relaxation, but also we'll be able to use this as a bit of an anchor point for today and tomorrow's practice. And I'll explain later how we can do that. Now, if we are using the breath as the object of our practice, and in general in the shamatha practice, what we'll notice is as we get deeper into the shamatha practice and our mindfulness introspection improves and we become more focused on the object, what you'll notice is that the sense faculties will slowly become dormant. Which means at the higher levels of the shamatha practice, you're not going to be able to notice the sen physical sensations of the breath anymore because the, the sense faculty will go dormant. So how can we use the breath then as the object all the way to shamatha? And that is that um, if we're using the breath as the object, the sensations of the breath as the object, then once we start to get deeper into that practice, we will get what's called the acquired sign, which is a mental image relating to the breath will spontaneously appear. And when that spontaneously appears, it's not something we generate, we shift from the physical sensations to that mental image, and we use that the rest of the way to shamatha. So to describe that, again, I'd like to read uh, from Alan Wallace's book here, page 64, he says the following. In the phases of mindfulness of breathing so far, you have been attending in various ways to the tactile sensations of the respiration. However, to continue all the way along the path of shamatha, eventually you must shift your attention to the tactile sensations of breathing to an acquired sign, a symbol of the air element that appears before your mind's eye as you progress in shamatha practice. To different people, acquired signs associated with the breath practice may appear like a star, a cluster of gems or pearls, a wreath of flowers, a puff of smoke, a cobweb, a cloud, a lotus flower, a wheel, or sun, and moon, sun or moon. The various appearances of the acquired sign are related to the mental dispositions of individual meditators. If you wish to continue on your path of mindfulness of breathing, 
which here explicitly turns into mindfulness with breathing, as soon as such a sign arises, shift your attention to this sign. This will be your object of attention as you proceed along the rest of the nine stages leading to shamatha. At first, your sign will arise only sporadically. So when it disappears, return to the previous sensations of the breath. But eventually, it will appear more regularly and steadily. And from that point onward, focus your attention on this object. As you progress in this practice, increase the duration of your sessions for as long as you're able to maintain a quality of attention relatively free of laxity and excitation. So again, what he's saying is that if we're using the physical sensations of the breath as an object, once we get into the deeper stages of this practice, spontaneously this acquired sign will appear. Of course, it's not a visual object, it's a mental appearance. And it can take many different forms. And when that appears, then you shift your attention to that as your object. But initially, it won't be stable and it'll probably go away. Then we go back to the breath. But eventually it will stabilize and then we use that mental image the rest of the way to shamatha. So that's what we do if we're using the breath as the object because in the higher levels of shamatha practice, the sense faculties become dormant.